Here's something interesting. A glass ceiling in politics was broken yesterday when Trump announced his new chief of staff, a woman named Susie Wilds. Watch this. Let me also express my tremendous appreciation for Susie and Chris, the job you did. <laughs> Susie, come, Susie, come here. Come here, Susie. Chris, come here, Chris. Susie likes to stay sort of in the back, let me tell you. The ice thing, we call it the ice thing. Now, some people, Republicans, are saying that she's the grown up in the room. Yeah, we've heard that before. <laughs> Who will put guardrails that keep the crazies out of the White House? <clears throat> Nothing, no comment. <laughs> but she helped his uh, campaign, he run his campaign. Uh, where were the guardrails when she helped him run his campaign when he was talking about yeah. immigrants eating pets? Arnold Palmer's <clears throat> junk. <laughs> or when he had simulated well, she's a political sex. Hold on, when he had a magician. Keep reading because it's so, good. Keep reading because it's good. Too late. So I think that this was a really smart choice. Um, listen, Donald Trump can't be managed, but um, she's a capable manager who can manage people around him. And I think it's important that we're giving her her due that she shattered this glass ceiling. One of the reasons I constantly hear from Republicans of why they don't really trust the mainstream media is they feel like there's a bias in it. And I remember when Biden was elected and he named an all-female press and cons team, and there were these glowing profiles. In the Trump administration, we had the exact same makeup of all women in those positions, and it wasn't mentioned. And then I love people. Buttigieg, but it was the first openly gay cabinet secretary. But Rick Grinnell was the uh, acting, frankly, um, di director of uh, the Office of National Intelligence, which is a cabinet level position. So I think it's good that they see we can acknowledge it, even if you disagree with her or with the campaign or the administration. You think it pushes the minute back she on goes bias. Up against no, I, him, listen, the minute she goes in front of him, he, he, so Joe Rogan's going to get that job. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I, I think the reason that 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 it resonates more when Democrats do it, frankly, is because Democrats are very proud of doing it, right? And they, they themselves tout it in a way that Donald Trump does not. But on Susie Wiles, she is a mainstay of, uh, in Florida. She has been around for decades and decades, highly respected as an operative. She worked for Reagan. She worked for McCain. She worked for Romney. I knew her ex-husband, Lanny, who worked for uh, Romney and McCain as well. Um, she's had ups and downs with DeSantis. She helped DeSantis. She helped Rick Scott. She helped Donald Trump. She's credited with a lot of the, of the steadiness. She's not an ideologue. She is a political operative. And, and, I, and again, she's not a magician. I don't know what the hell she's going to do about well, RFK, anything, about all these other places. I don't know anything about her personally, but one thing I liked is that we kept talking about the, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance to Donald Trump to become part of his inner circle. She said, I'll take the job with conditions. And one of the quotes I read is she said, uh, she wanted more control over who could get in to see the president because, quote, the clown car can't come into the White House <laughs> at will. What if the clown is in the White House? <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.